Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or my shady world. In this video, you will learn how to create an hierarchy based drill down functionality. So for this, I have used a sample superstore data and as you can see, I have created a category drill down. So if you select this any specific category, then their respective subcategories will be displayed. So let's select one of them. So I'll select office supply here. So the these are the within this office supply, these are the subcategories within it and their sales are. So this is what this drill down functionality works that whichever the category you select the, the respective drill down uh, the subcategory and their details will be displayed. So let's create the same thing in a new tab. So go to this new worksheet. And here in the rows, I will drag this category and the subcategory. So these are the category and subcategory. Now for this, I need a measure as well. So I'll just double click on the sale. And this is what is created a tabular format, but I need something in a bar format. So I'll select this one horizontal bar format. So this is how it creates. Now I want uh, the labels, the, the, I, I need to display the, what does the sales are. So I'll just click it over in the mark label. So these are the sales now. Um, but I need something which is more in a sorted format. So I'll select the descending, uh, sorted descending by the sales within the subcategory. So this is how it's been sorted in a descending order. Now to differentiate between what are those categories, I want a color segregation, color based segregation. So I'll drag this category and place it to this color. So this is how this color is giving you a clear picture that which category are. So every category is been represented with the colors. You can also select this color and uh, add it the colors, whichever you want. Let's say I want something this in the red in color. So I'll just apply and okay. So this is how you can change the color as well. So this is a formatting thing. But the point here that we need is to achieve here is if you select this category, there's a subcategory will be there. So for this, you need to first create one parameter because we are going to create something which is action based parameter. So for that, first we need to create one parameter. So here, name it empty and change this data type to integer. And now allowable values, keep it as all and just OK. So this empty parameter is created, which is in string type. And now to make this active or I would say dynamic, we need to create one calculated field. So here I will name this calculated field as drill down. And what the condition is, if empty parameter is equal to category, if I select this, let's say whichever the category I select and empty is same, then in that case, you should have this subcategory because that's how we want a drill down, right? So if I select a category, then the respective subcategory has to be displayed. In case if you haven't selected that category, if I select this furniture, then the respective furniture subcategory we want, that is okay. But what about for the other category? Then the other category will be remain as category as it is, no change. So, and so this is what a simple uh, if else condition I have placed. Hit on apply, okay. Now drag this zero down in between this category and subcategory. So this is how it looks, right? But we need something, let's say if I click on category, the same furniture will drag it and make it this subcategory. Not drag it, drill down to the subcategory. Sorry for that. So to get this, we have to here make it an action or you can say add an action here. So for this, go to the worksheet. Here there is an action, just click it on action. Add here the action change parameter 
go to this name some any any name we will assign let's say uh, drill down parameter one okay and this source worksheet is worksheet two which are the worksheet you are working on so i'm going to select for the worksheet so i'll select simply worksheet what is the target parameter target would be the empty one because that's what on the basis of this we have created this calculated field so i'll uh, select this target parameter and how this action to be run on based on the select option so if we select then and then otherwise if you hover or something you do with the menu we don't need that we need simply that we select that and the, that has to be but the source field what is the source field based on what where we need this whole uh, thing to get changed we need something on the drill down so just click on drill down and hit on ok and again this now drill down param1 is created and now ok once you create this now just simply select this drill down because that's what our source was so just click on this furniture and now it's changed to the subcategory so what my point is that whatever we did it's like this has been selected so our is if condition was satisfied here that if our drill down so whatever the category this category and the empty right now empty has been assigned with this furniture so if this one is equal to the category then the respective subcategories has to be displayed rest will remain as it is there is no change over here so this is how we create a drill down but i i uh, i don't want something which is our extra field so i will remove this subcategory from this one and as both are representing the same thing by default if we say then they are the category so drill down is actually a category category and so this we don't need or you can say this we don't need in a display not as in like we don't need we need to compare both of these so what i'll go i will do i'll simply um, click on this uh, downward arrow and from here i'll disable this show header click on the show header so it will disable so this is been removed from the view not from actual position it will be there as it is so this is how if you select any let's say office supply so respective their subcategories being displayed with their uh, values and all so this is what a drill down functionality is you can enhance this by more of just changing this formats uh, changing the edit and uh, the sheet name even displaying this in a particular in currency and the sales as well in the currency specific to dollars so but in overall if you want to understand and want to create this drill down then this is how the drill down has been done which is based on the action parameter and not just with that you need to create the parameter create the calculated field make it this more dynamic and then add an action so this is how a drill down functionality works and you can create in tableau I hope you uh, learned this and you really like this video. If you really like, then do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next new video. Till then, happy learning.